Our next presenter is an astrophysicist, Northwestern University professor, and co-founder and director of the Center for Is Interdisciplinary Exploration and Research in Astrophysics. Unless you lived in a black hole over this past winter, you've probably heard about the LIGO scientific collaboration physicists and how they observed gravitational waves for the first time. These are ripples in the fabric of space-time predicted by Albert Einstein nearly a century ago. Dr. Vicky Calgora, Calgara excuse me, led LIGO's work on the astrophysical implications of the recent gravitational wave theory. She's an expert on black hole formations in binary systems. Please welcome Dr. Vicky Calgara. Thank you. Thank you. It's a great pleasure to be here today and tell you about this amazing discovery that has changed our lives uh, in the LIGO scientific collaboration uh, and uh, promises to revo revolutionize physics and astronomy for decades to come. Uh, one reason we're talking about a, a revolution is because up until now, uh, what we know about the cosmos is all due to observations we have made using electromagnetic waves. So for example, we have all kinds of different types of telescopes we put at the tops, the highest tops of mountains because the atmosphere is right, uh, telescopes that live uh, on the ground and they can detect radio waves, and also telescopes we put up in space if we want to observe X-rays, uh, gamma rays or gorgeous photos like with a Hubble Space Telescope. But for the first time with LIGO, we managed to actually build detectors that are sensitive enough for us to be able to detect a new type of wave. They're called gravitational waves, and the telescopes don't look like what you might expect or might be familiar with, but they're actually um, using laser interferometry technology where we study how when lasers travel down these two arms, and they hit at the end and they come back, we study how they come together and we can figure out from that study how the end points of these two arms might have been disturbed, disturbed because of gravitational waves that are passing through the detector. So, so this kind of uh, discovery takes us back to uh, trying to understand what gravitational waves are and what kinds of sources emit them. So um, in just, I don't know, 30 seconds maybe, I'll tell you about general relativity and Einstein's theory. Uh, because we're all so smart, right? Um, so uh, Einstein taught us 100 years ago, uh, 101 actually now, that mass actually affects the geometry of space. If the masses are actually now moving, especially with high velocity, then the dimples become moving disturbances in space. Space time, but space is easier to think about. And they actually <laughs> generate these oscillations you see as ripples, just like if you threw a stone on the surface of a quiet lake, you would get ripples that propagate. These ripples, gravitational waves, propagate at the speed of light and they can travel throughout the universe and tell us about the masses that are producing them. So on September 14, uh, uh, 2015, that date will be marked in our minds, uh, what we received is a signal that behaved in this very characteristic wave, uh, uh, an oscillation, an oscillation of those end arms of our detectors that increased in amplitude, the wave became stronger and stronger, and also the frequency became higher and higher until the signal died down. We now, by analyzing the signal, we now understand that it came from two black holes that were, they were swirling one around the other at half the speed of light, all the way until they came so close together that they merged. This is at the peak of the uh, disturbance. And then they died down. The black hole merged into a single black hole. The waves were leaving this source and traveled for a very, very long distance, for a very, very long time at the speed of light until they reached our detectors um, uh, a few months ago. So this is again the kind of signal we received, the gray is the data and the fit, the, the, the modeling with uh, predictions from Einstein's general relativity is actually spot on. So as this signal tells us that binary black holes exist 
and they actually behave exactly as Einstein predicted. Uh, this merger, this one event that we have now observed, happened a billion years ago, more than a billion years ago. That means it happened more than a billion light years away. Uh-oh, uh the gong is coming. Uh, the, from the collapse of the two black holes, uh, we got an enormous amount of energy in gravitational waves that made that one merger be 50 times brighter than all the stars in the universe. And there's many other records that this one event actually uh, broke. So why should you care? Maybe you're going to ask about it during the process. <laughs>